Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today's another traditional speed paint. I'll be using watercolors and fine liners, the usual stuff. First things first, I'm sorry if I'll not be able to talk properly or a lot in this video. Mainly because I have a cold, so my nose and my throat's a bit clogged. And it's harder for me to talk and say my sentences. And yeah, it's, a, it's tough. So the piece I'm working on today, if you haven't guessed who it is yet, probably not since there's not a lot of details on it yet. But recently, the anime world is taken by storm by a certain very, very gay sports anime. And it's not Fee. It's Yuri on Ice. And I happen to be one of the people who is very much overly invested into it right now. Like, I'm, my heart is unable to handle this anime. It's too... Jesus, how do you explain it? Oh god, it's like... Just... Just... Uh, <laughs> it gives you so much. It's not even in the teasing the fan sense and it becomes fan service. You think it is, but they really give it to you and that kind of shocked everyone. So, I am emotionally invested into it right now. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> like, I thought... I thought there won't be any anime that could top Fee in terms of the fan service it gives to its fans. And Fee just kinda teased you around and made the fans just go wild, but really nice. It just gives it to you and you're just like, oh shit. <laughs> so, given that this is obviously not Yuri, this is a young Victor that inspired the younger Yuri to keep on skating, I guess. Mainly because I really like his long hair and I really like Joey's long hair because you can do so much with it. So I decided to play with that a little. Today was supposed to be a different video. I had a different video planned for today. Um, it was something I did for just fun and I was playing with the pose. It involved a lot of hair too. But Yuri on Ice, man. Episode 8 just released yesterday. And jeez, like, I had. The moment I finished episode 7 and episode 8, I felt the need to draw something. And I recorded that something. And now, instead of that um, original piece I did, I'm doing fan art instead. <laughs> you can see, it really consumed my life a bit. So, as per usual, I'm using my leaves. Eight, oh no, it's the 24 set watercolor tube paints, as you can see. I'm also using a water brush because I'm, when I was drawing this, I was lazy to grab my mug of water or cups of water. And I remember that I newly refilled my water brush. So I used that instead. But admittedly, with this kind of background, I actually prefer using my normal brushes. Because I have a I have a tough time controlling the intensity of the pigment on the water brush sometimes. So I prefer the control of a normal brush. But oh well, I managed to figure it out. I'm using a lot of my blues here 
I'm using primarily uh, phthalo blue. Yeah, primarily phthalo blue. And then I mix in some aquamarine blue for the darker areas. And eventually, for the even more darker areas, I mix in a little bit of purple. And it really created this really nice effect. Originally, I wanted to draw like an ice rink or a stage where they perform in. But I felt like this really suited the pose and Victor, so yeah. Actually, for this particular piece, I had a hard time deciding what pose I wanted to go with. So I did a lot of the sketching and thumbnailing off camera. So that's why you only see the lining. Because I felt, or I really took a long time getting the sketch out and uh, it was unnecessary. So no sketch this time. Victor's hair is this nice little white color and platinum blonde if you will. What I wanted to do is that I wanted to add blue tones to it and it became too blue so I added in some yellow to sort of balance it out and it got a little messy so I added in some paints gray which is a bluish bluish um, gray or black. It's something, it's a very very dark gray with a blue tone to it. So. It really helped balance the hair and it made it look more dynamic and stuff like that. And now I felt like the background was too light, so I'm adding in the ultramarine and a bit of violet purple to it so that the area around Victor and around the edges has a bit more depth to it. Also my local, or not so local, in SM North Edsa, they renovated their national bookstore and it contains so much more products now so I was able to buy the white beauty ball signal pen which is what I used and I only got to buy it in Katipunan because for some reason it's the only place they carried it where I had access to but now that SM North has it like I'm gonna use it up as much as possible now because it's so easy to get and I hope that SM or I hope National Bookstore in SM North retains that amount of stock because I am in extreme need of easy to access art details. Or not so extreme, I'm exaggerating, but like I didn't want to go to Katipunan just to buy some or like, refills for my art materials. As much as I want to go back, that's a real pain in the ass. It takes around 2 hours to get there by commute, or not really, an hour and 30 to an hour and 40 minutes. And I'm not. At least SM North is a lot closer, but yeah. Either way, I'm adding some white outline just to give it some sparkly effect on the vector. 
I'm also adding some very faint white dots. So I hope you guys enjoyed and please like or subscribe. I do a lot of fan art and character designing on this channel. Please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.